You ever wish your air conditioner was just a little bit smarter? Well, on today's episode, I'll be taking this dummy to school with something called a Sensibo Air. This is TextBank. Now, the main thing I was looking for was a way to add HomeKit to my window air conditioner that looks like it was built in the 1980s. And I was looking online and found something called Sensibo Air and it works with HomeKit and it has a built-in temperature and humidity sensor. I was about to buy it when I decided to email them and ask them to send me one for free <laughs> instead and they agreed, I don't know why. And here we are, I have this Sensibo Air and I'm not being paid by them. I've never used this before and I'm gonna be setting it up and using it for the first time with you watching. So here we go. First things first, uh, this is what it looks like. Say hello to your smart sensing AC. Wow. I know the box is small, but the little thing inside is even smaller. Check that out. Can you see that? It's teeny tiny. All right, so this looks like the unit itself. It's got a little plastic protector, which it now does not have. I'll put that there so you can take a look at that. Some other stuff in the box. A power plug, okay. And I know for a fact that on their website they say they ship worldwide, so I'm assuming that they will send you whatever plug you need for your region. And then a power cable, so this looks like it's pretty standard USB style stuff. And then there's this little thing of, uh, oh, double-sided tape. So, let's see what they say. Download and install our app from the App Store or Google Play. All right, so I will Sensibo. That looks like it right there. Open it up. Sign up. Sign up without a password. I decided to sign up without a password because I am trying to make this episode as fast as possible, so here we go. And um, here it says, make sure your Sensible Air device is plugged in and blinking once. All right, it is. Next, find the QR code located at the back of your device and click next, okay. Scan the QR, all right, scan the QR code. Now there's two QR codes. I'm gonna be scanning the one that says Sensibo, because the other one looks like it's for HomeKit. Please choose the location, default home. Please choose the room. It says scanning Wi-Fi networks now. I'm going to choose my network, enter my network password, click connect. Checking for a firmware update, that's always good, that shows that they're actually keeping these things updated. All right, that seems to have taken the full three minutes, <laughs> click next. Sensible needs to synchronize with your remote control, please get your AC remote and click next. I've got it right here. Point your air conditioner's remote at the device's front and push the power button. Okay. Remote detected successfully. Done. Do you want to proceed with your room sensor setup? Now, I don't have a room sensor. That's another device that you could buy from Sensibo, so I'm going to click on skip, and there we go. It defaults to Celsius, which is unfortunate, so I'm going to change that. It's under appearance. There we go. Save. Now, I don't know where it's supposed to go, so I'm just gonna leave it like here. I'm gonna put it here, but eventually I'm gonna mount it to the wall, I'm guessing right around here. Now let's see if we could turn it on. There you go. It turned on, which is pretty cool. So now to continue getting it integrated into HomeKit, so I could use Siri to turn this dummy on and off, I'm gonna go into my Home app on my iPhone Add an accessory, scan the QR code, thermostat location is living room, sensible AC controller, continue, done. All right, now let's see if it works. I'm just gonna be holding it up, because remember, I'm gonna be mounting it to the wall. Let's just see if it turns it off. Off. Well, I'll be. There you go, it worked. All right, I'm not sure how well this is gonna cut together because after I finished recording the episode, I was messing around with some features and I actually saw something really amazing. So, um, 
here's what my screen looks like on my phone right now. I am going to change the temperature of the air conditioner with the remote. And I want you to see what happens. This thing is picking up the remote control commands and updating my home kit automatically. Not only does it adjust the temperature, but it seems like it could change the modes as well. And depending on your air conditioner, it might even be able to change the speed of the fan. So it's not just turning it on and off when it senses it's at a certain temperature like I thought it was. It's actually replacing this remote control almost completely, which is amazing. So, wow. All right, and back to the regularly scheduled episode. So there you have it. It's a, a pretty snazzy way to add some smarts to a pretty old dumb air conditioner. Now after, the, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna actually set up a few more automations and stuff. Their website explains that you can set it up to cool when you get close to the house, to turn off when you leave in case you forget to turn it off, things like that, which is all pretty neat. And a pretty easy way to add some smart features to your older air conditioner. Now, depending on how old your air conditioner is, it may make more sense just to buy a new one because a lot of newer air conditioners have smart features built in. This one, however, would cost around $1,500 to replace. So for one tenth the price, you'd be able to add smart features to this older one. In my case, it was free, thanks to Sensibo. Thanks a lot, actually, that's pretty cool. Now, if you do want to pick up one for yourself, be sure to check out their website regularly because as I noticed, they have all sorts of sales and they'll probably have one going on whenever you watch this video. Well, that's it for this episode of Text Bank. Until next time, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching.